Now, with the discovery of those marijuana grow operations in Pike County, there's now an intense focus in rural Ohio and the role that it plays in a major drug pipeline. NBC4's investigative reporter Dwayne Pullman has spent the week looking into the illegal drug trade, which even includes international drug cartels. Yeah, while the investigation continues in Pike County, there is no question that a drug pipeline is very much a part of the picture in that part of rural Ohio, where marijuana and other drugs are cultivated by criminals, including international cartels. Here in Pike County, most people avoided my camera. A man at a memorial service even interrupted my interview. So I'm going to ask you to remove the camera there. But off camera, several people told me about criminal drug elements operating in this rural setting. At the center of that is this highway, US 23. It's not even on this map. No. Sheriff Zach Scott, who's on several key drug task forces, says this map of Franklin County doesn't even come close to showing the real picture of Central Ohio's drug trade. It's down here. It's going to be 23. You're going to be going, moving to 23. The sheriff and other drug experts say cartels and criminals are behind this pipeline with a firm foothold here in rural Ohio. We believe that Mexican drug cartels are largely responsible. In September 2010, then Ohio Attorney General Richard Cordray announced clear evidence of the Mexican cartel operating in rural Ohio. A camp just like this one, was busted in Pike County in 2012. In 2010, DEA agents seized 22,000 pot plants from Pike County. That was more than 20% of the marijuana haul of the entire state. While criminal elements, including the Mexican cartel, have continued moving in, Sheriff Scott says law enforcement has been dealing with international drug cartels along this rural pipeline for decades. That is me there. This picture shows a young Zach Scott when he was an undercover drug agent in 1990. On the table in front of him, 20 kilos of cocaine from a Colombian cartel. Those drugs, like today, moved up the Highway 23 corridor through Pike County. Uh, we had a nine county task force that was going on back in the day, and that included Pike County. While it's unclear whether the executions of members of the Roden family are connected to cannabis or cartels, the real picture of drugs in rural Ohio is now in focus. To think that, that it's not an international problem that's, that's having an influence here in central Ohio, of course it is. Now, I did reach out to the current Attorney General, Mike DeWine's office, for help with this report. The office declined. Obviously, DeWine and his investigators are very busy investigating those murders. Still, no one I've talked to is disputing the very real pipeline of drugs and crime in rural Ohio. I'm Dwayne Pullman, NBC4.